Teresa, last night at Camden House, obviously you was overwhelmed with the outpouring support that you had. Um, the governor there, the governor's wife, and the premier. Uh, tell us a bit about how you felt being honored by such hierarchy in Bermuda. It was wonderful. Um, it, it was just such a great feeling. I had no idea that many people come out. I didn't even realize that many people really follow my story. Um, I'm certainly seeing it this time on the streets. I can't walk more than five, ten feet, and people are coming up to me and congratulating me. And it's just so nice this time to have positive uh, feedback, positive press coverage, and it, it just feels great. It feels great to finally, you know, be. I don't need to be recognized, but it really, it does feel good, better than I thought. Well, what's the latest with come March 10th, you're scheduled to fight at Barclay Institute. Um, what's the latest there? Well, everybody's trying to find out about that. It's definite. I'm not trying to keep it a secret. We're just, there's just still the contract. We need everything official from the WBA. They've already approved my opponent. Um, she's got her contract. We just don't want to jinx anything. We want it all to come through and make sure there's no issues, any fallout from Trinidad with the contract there. So um, we're just following proper steps, but I'm guaranteed definitely fighting uh, March 10th and it should be a title fight. Um, I'm, I don't need to fight within three months. It's I have at least six months, but the opportunities hit there, the fight's happening, so the, or the event's already happening, so why not piggyback this fight onto that one so it, it works out and hopefully a big one again in the summer. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the summer because obviously um, there's another title out there that you really want to get yeah. your hands on. Um, what, what can you see in the future for that? Well, obviously the WBC, that's the, another big one next to the WBA, and uh, I would, the girl that holds that one in Virginia, she's fighting uh, in a few weeks, so I would love to unify those two belts and get it here. So that's my, that's my next one. So hopefully we could see the unification bout. Yeah, we've already approached her. Her name's Tori Nelson. We've approached her manager, so uh, they know that's what we're looking for. Let's let her get through this fight. and. Um, I, I think especially if the money's right, you know, because it's hard to get fights for women, so I, I can't see any reason why they wouldn't come here. Now let's talk a little bit about you spent some time in California, uh, you went to, to the gym, um, you spent some time there. What was that experience like? Well, uh, to be honest, I mean, I only got to train three times actual boxing training, but um, it was more about my son and getting him organized with school and rugby. He's doing fabulous out there. so. He's at that age, you know, it's had to get him out of here and hopefully just get him through these next few years and he'll do all right. But it was pretty much just family and getting organized with that and just staying in shape. Now, what will you be doing here locally to prepare for March 10th? Well, I want to do all my training here. I'm very excited about that. Rigo's gym, all the guys are really excited up there. There's going to be a lot more people training because there's a few fighting March 10th, so that helps. Uh, but I'm going tonight, I start back tonight, and you know, I'll get really serious next week, start back into my actual, like a training camp, I kind of make it, I have a schedule that I follow. Now, I've seen you over the, over the last few years doing a lot of road running and so forth, will that stay in your regimen, will you be... Yeah, I mean, I do that just to maintain weight, but is I have to... Um, I change what I do for fighting. I have to, like I'll get a one or two hill runs in there, but it's more high intensity, a lot of speed work, which is not really my strength. Like I'm endurance, I can go all day, can run a marathon, but you know, it's different in the ring. It's it's not, it's, it is endurance because it's 10 rounds, but it's all about conditioning, recovery. You're gonna have, you know, bursts and then you got a lull. And so just being able to recover and that's where the speed work comes in. So that's what I focus on more for a fight. So the immediate future is March 10th. Definitely, yeah. Okay, well, good luck. Thanks, See you sir. in the ring. <laughs>